Hello friends, thanks for watching. Today I want to take you through one of my more visible habits, uh, which is to wear these at night. Blue light blocking glasses. Also, I apologize to uh, those of you watching in HD, I do know I need to shave. Um, so why would you want to wear uh, these funky looking glasses? So the short of the story is that your body's wake sleep cycle depends on light. So evolutionarily, when it was light outside, it meant you should be awake. When it's dark outside, it meant you should be sleeping. Uh, we broke that because we're humans. We build awesome technology, screens, lights, everything. But that does mean that a lot of people, due to all this blue light late at night, uh, can't sleep or their sleep rhythms are entirely distorted. So the, the fun story is a bunch of you probably had biology lessons in which you were taught about the retina of the eye, which has rods and cones. Rods to see black and white at night, cones to see color during the day when there's a lot of light. There's actually a third one, which is rather unpronounceable, so we'll abbreviate them IPRGCs. Um, the third cone, let's call them that. It sounds nice and, and nice and ominous. Uh, so the third cone in your eye is sensitive in particular to blue light or more towards the blue spectrum of the light. Uh, and you can't see with this cone, it purely registers whether it's day or night. And it's the one that entrains your SCN, which is part of your brain that manages your wake sleep cycle. Uh, it basically tells it when you should be awake and when you should be sleepy. This is why if at night you're in a dim room, you get sleepy, whereas if the lights are bright on, you tend to not get as sleepy. Now that effect can work to your advantage. You know, maybe you're out on an event and it's nice and bright and it's getting late, but you want to be awake so that sort of bright lights are fine. But what if afterwards you want to go to sleep? Uh, I find myself in this position, you know, you're, you're on the way back from an event, uh, sitting in a train, uh, as, uh, as I do, and in the train it's bright. It's bright, it's white light, it's synthetic light. Uh, it's the kind of light that is rich in blue, which is keeping you awake. So um, to combat that, you could wear some of these. Now the reason these are orange is if you think about the uh, three cones in your eye, the three colors, red, blue, green, RGB. If you're a designer, you know that RGB is one way of defining colors. If you take the blue out of the color spectrum and only have R and G, red and green, it looks orange, yellowish orange. That's the reason that if you look through these, they're actually orange. Um, if you look sort of at the reflection of it, you might see that there's this, this sort of blue reflection coming off of, it, off of it. That is a blue light reflector, but it's actually not, not that effective compared to the super orange glasses. The reason you want to block blue is because it's twice as powerful as green um, in blocking your, uh, your natural wake sleep cycle. So if you sort of think of the rainbow, you have the higher energy light, which is the blue end, and it goes from blue to green to yellow to red, and red is the low energy spectrum. So on the high energy side, the blue, that keeps you awake. The green keeps you less awake, the red keeps you less awake. And that, that blue and that green seem to be the most important colors. So what would happen if you take away the blue and the green? That's when you get these. Even funkier looking glasses. Um, so as funky as these are, I actually love wearing these at night. Uh, it's actually really nice on your, on your eyes because it takes out all the blue and all the green. And actually I noticed that when I look outside of my window at night, when I thought it was you know, reasonably dark. If I wear these, it's black. If I take them off, um, it's gray. So it turns out that the gray I thought was night light. It's actually not gray. It's very high blue light, which is why the red glasses block it. All right, so I love wearing these. You can get them reasonably high end, like 50 euros uh, or, or pounds for something like this. You can get them for China, from China for like uh, five euros, uh, five to $10. Um, but what if you don't wanna wear glasses? Um, I uh, do gymnastics on Mondays uh, with my brother. It's great, but the room is super brightly lit and everything is colored blue. Uh, and I can't wear glasses, you know, doing, doing flips and stuff with glasses is not very practical. So I had these made. It was actually hell to find someone who would make them, but they are contact lenses that are orange. So they are, they are this color. Uh, and when I put them on, uh, you can see the picture in the uh, thumbnail of this video. When I put these in, uh, my eyes, they sort of look brown because I have blue eyes, and if you sort of filter out the blue out of, um, out of blue, you get, you know, black-brown. Um, so I actually wear these uh, when I go and do gymnastics, and I'm actually considering getting, getting red ones, having red ones made, uh, contacting the factory out in, in Germany and see if they're willing to, uh, to make that. All right, so if you want to get started with this whole blue light blocking thing, 
If you're not willing to spend money on it to try and see if you like it, get one of the cheap glasses. Just just try them out, wear them for a week, and see if it works for you. You can always upgrade to you know the ones with polarized, blue lighty, sheeny things. Don't worry about it too much. Start low, see if it works for you. Uh, and then if you want to go entirely nuts on on the most uh, most optimal way, then uh, I would suggest getting the red ones. Uh, and I'm actually still figuring out what my uh, favorite glasses are. For now, they're these, uh, mostly because they're the the red ones I have that don't make me look like a pervert from the 80s. Um, I, I do have the other ones in front of me. I'm, I'm not even going to put them on. Uh, my girlfriend gets gets scared when I do. Um, but, uh, but yeah, actually, they look great on her. So try them out if you like. Anyway, I'll put the links to the glasses I have uh, in the description to this video. Uh, and if you have any interesting blue light blocking toys, let me know. Uh, because I'm always up for trying new stuff. All right, have a nice day.